There's a lot of explosions today. Around that sort of enclosed sea. What's that all about? Ah yes, I've been monitoring this for a few weeks now. It's a fascinating development. Oh ah. The north of that old continent there, that spans half the globe, is an administration called Russia, and its leader has ordered its armies to invade one of its neighbours. What? I thought this planet was democratic. Well, the leader did win an election, but he also killed quite a few of his opponents. Oh. That sort of democracy. How about the jurisdiction being invaded? Well, it was getting better, but you know... Right, so... Why does he care? When the leader was born, the administration was even bigger. It also covered the places exploding now and much more. What happened? There's limited data. It was before we arrived. The old administration became corrupt and so lost the faith of its outlying regions and so they devolved. So why send in the troops? It's not certain. Human psychology is primitive and they still face mortality. It may be that he thinks of himself as a Pivotal person with a regal role in a dynasty with a destiny. And now that he's facing death, he wants to fulfill his life's purpose to slightly expand the geography of a bureaucratic administration's jurisdiction. <laughs> it's, it's weird what these humans care about. No wonder they're always on the edge. But, about an unpopular, unprovoked war over administrative borders that impoverishes his nation, make his own organisation more unstable. Yes, and also the rest of the world. These types of imperialist wars over administrative boundaries have a history of it escalating on this planet. And the last time it did so, it ended up with huge nuclear explosions. Oh man, they've got so many of those things now. Enough to create a nuclear winter. <laughs> At least that might help with the global warming. Speaking of the warming, the price of the fuel they're using to warm the air is spiking upwards because so much of it comes from his administration's areas. So, the world is paying for the invasion by buying the fuel from an imperialistic dictator that they then use to destabilise their own atmosphere. <laughs> oh man, this is too much. And if they tried to do anything about the invasion, their fuel supply gets cut off and they risk the winter's cold, nuclear or otherwise. <laughs> so, the world's gonna throw nuclear explosions at each other and cause a nuclear winter and a Fermi collapse and a mass extinction. Because one old mad guy would be, would be sad if he died in a smaller administration jurisdiction than the one he was born in. <laughs> well, that's just one of many ways it could all end, of course. But yes, maybe. <laughs> Amazing. Tune in for next month's episode, eh? Exactly. Watching a planet self-destruct is quite a show. Everyone back at home will want to like and subscribe. <laughs> and share. Don't forget, share. Oh yes, and share.